Good everyone. Let me thank you for being with us. Honored to have the First Lady of Georgia with us as usual today. Uh, I'll be very brief, but I wanted to give a quick update on a new executive order I've just signed this afternoon. Jesus for waking me up. I know I just came back from Vegas, right? Y'all know I love magic, right? So say it with me. Three, two, one. <laughs> I told y'all I know magic. All right, so they open the gate. They open the gate. Let's get in there and get unloaded and I'm gonna talk to y'all. All right, they finally opened the gate. Let's get up in there so I can talk to y'all. What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, the Travel Trucker, back with you again for another video. Today is Thursday, April 21st, and man, we got some stuff to talk about. I know I've been busy. I've been out in Vegas. Stay tuned for that two-part episode dropping this week. It's a lot of editing, I know. Be patient, but man, in the meantime, we got something big to talk about, guys. The state of Georgia has just changed the game, y'all. Check it out, man. Governor Brian Kemp, as of April 15th, last week, he has suspended the driver hours of service, guys. That's right. I repeat, there are no hours of service for commercial truck drivers in the state of Georgia right now, guys. As of last week, the state of Georgia, not no other state, listen closely, has suspended the hours of service, guys. What that means is you can make all the money you want until you get sleepy. Pretty much what the governor did, guys, because the global supply chain is so badly affected and diesel prices are so high and drivers are complaining and then it's a shortage and whatnot. Uh, the governor has said, hey, Georgia is not gonna recognize the federal hours of service. You can drive as much as you need to until you get tired. With that being said is guys, if you work for a company or you're leased on with a company, if you're an owner op or if you're working with a broker, they cannot force you to drive. If you say you're tired, they have to require, they have to allow you to rest for at least 10 hours, guys. So you can drive until you get tired, but there are no hours of service, guys. So if you go through these scales and these troopers pull you over, you ain't got to worry about your laws, guys. You can run unlimited for the next 30 days. Now, the executive order says, I'm just going to briefly touch on it. I'm going to drop a link in the description below. 
where you can go check it out for yourself and read the fine print if you are overweight or you got a wild load or you need permits. But pretty much it sums up is from April 15th until May 15th, at least for the next 30 days, there is no driver logs. Now, he said in 30 days he will revisit the executive order. He may extend it. But at least for the next 30 days, guys, there are no hours of service in the state of Georgia. So you can make all the money you want, guys. And man, when I tell you that it's a game changer, somebody finally took the leap and did it, guys. Because we've been saying it for years. A driver log is not going to affect if somebody tired or not, guys. Even on driver logs, people are wrecking out nonstop. So why have them? Why have them? If truckers going to drive, they're going to drive. They're going to finesse. They're going to personal conveyance whatever they got multiple identities on the driver log we got paper logs and all that stuff so i think it's stupid guys this will let you make money how you want to drive just like you was in a personal vehicle but the governor i repeat the governor of the state of georgia had just suspended the hours of service now if you still need escorts if you're driving at night you still got to have them escorts in the front of the back of you if you need a permit for your load that all that stuff still apply still applies but as far as hours of service, if you could keep driving, you could keep driving. Now, once you leave the state of Georgia, you have to do the hours of service. So you can't be not following the logs in Georgia, and then you get to South Carolina. Oh, governor in Georgia said we ain't got to follow the law. No, 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 no. That's a whole nother state. So this is for my local Georgia drivers and people who want to just run loads in Georgia. If you know anything about Georgia, if you're in trucking, Georgia is the top state for trucking. That's where all 50% of America's freight goes through Georgia. It's just, no matter how you cut it and slice it, everything goes through Atlanta and Savannah. So the governor just changed the game. I hope some other states will, will look into it and do the same thing he did because, man, this is a game changer, man. With diesel prices being so high and whatnot and, and, and the global supply chain at a shortage, I went inside of Walmart the other day. All the shelves were empty in the middle of the day, guys. They waiting on loads, ain't no TVs, ain't no cereal, ain't no milk. So with this happening, this is gonna help ramp up resupply and it also drive costs down because they're letting you drive around the clock. So like I said, guys, the link will be in the description below. Check it out, watch the video, read the fine print from what the governor says. And like I say, for the next 30 days, there are no logs in the state of Georgia. So with that being said, I'm gonna check back in with y'all shortly, probably tomorrow or Saturday. I'm gonna drop some more videos. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, y'all.